In this video, we will focus on how you can use IDA Finlink to easily copy view types from one project to another to bring your projects and standards into alignment. Some owners and jurisdictions require Revit model deliverables to have the same naming conventions and view organizations in the project browser and across all models. One of the challenges with Revit is the ability to bulk create view types for the different view categories in a project. While it may take a short amount of time to create new view types for small projects, creating many view types and standardizing the naming and view template assignments for large projects can take a very long time. Unfortunately, Revit does not have an easy way to create new view types. In this situation, users will have to create new view types one by one. An even greater challenge is the ability to copy and transfer view types to other projects, since this feature is not available through the transfer project standards. Thankfully, we have IDA Bimlink to assist us with this challenge. IDA Bimlink allows users to export existing view type information from projects so that users can create matching view types in other models, bringing projects and standards into alignment. Let's have a look at how we can copy view types from one model to another using IDA Bimlink. In part one, we showed you how you could use IDA Bimlink to generate additional view types within the same project file. For part two, our goal is to show you how you can take the information from this file and copy over to additional Revit project files. The goal here is to bring our project or deliverables in alignment and make sure that we meet the owner's requirements for having the same naming conventions and assignments for various settings within your model. Now before we do that, we want to have a look as to what's going on in this particular project file. So to do that, I'm going to go to Bimlink and I'm going to look at the same view types create new. I'll go ahead and expand the dialog box to get a better picture and I'll also show full preview. You can see in this link we have section tag information, callout tag, and elevation tag information. And if I scroll down a little bit and have a look at the elevation tag, we can see that for the elevations I have exterior and interior elevation tag settings. We want to ensure the mechanical file has the same exact naming convention, otherwise when we copy the data over from the architectural file to the mechanical file, we could end up with some errors upon import. I'm going to go to the mechanical file and I'm going to use Bimlink to have a look at the same data. I'll double click on it, I'll expand the dialog box, and I'll show full preview. We can see the elevation tag, and we're shown a half inch square over here. However, when I click on it, I don't see any exterior or interior elevations. This tells me that this project file does not have the same data as the architectural file. I'll hit cancel. So before I do anything, I want to transfer project standards and grab some of the data from the architects file and get it into this file. I'm going to go to manage and I'm going to go to transfer project standards. And since I have the architectural file open, I'll go ahead and check none and I'm going to grab the information that I want. I'll go ahead and pick elevation tag types, section tag types, and I'll also select the view reference types and view templates. It's important to note that transfer project standards does not work for transferring over view types. I'll bring in new only, and if you get any warnings about duplicate information coming through, that's okay. We could always clean this up afterwards. Now that I've transferred some of the data over from the architects file into the mechanical file, I want to have a quick look and just verify that this information did come through. I'm just going to go back to Bimlink and I'll use this view types create new. I'll expand it once again, and I'll have a quick look at the elevation tag. And when I click in here, you now see I have exterior and interior elevation. Before that, I only had the half inch square. So we know this information came through. Now that I have that information in here, I'll go ahead and export it out. And I'll save this into this directory here. Now before I do anything, I'm going to hit done. And the reason why is I want to go back to the architectural file and export the same data to the same cell file. So to do that, I'm going to go to Bimlink and I'll have a quick look at this link over here. And we want to verify if the columns of data matches the export from the mechanical file. And it does. In addition to that, I'm going to come over to link and instead of create new, I'm going to change this to export. This way I don't overwrite the existing worksheet tab in the file that I just exported. And that's because these two links have the same exact name. We want to make sure they're different from each other. Now that we're good here, I'll export, and I'm going to export it into this Excel file. And what I want to do is insert it as a new worksheet. And when I do that, 
we can see here now that I have two worksheet tabs. This happens to be the data from the mechanical file, and this is the data from the architectural file. As I mentioned earlier, the goal is to create new view types using this link. So to do that, I'm going to grab the information that I want to copy over. I'll go ahead and hold control, and I'm going to multi-select some information. Now that I selected what I wanted to, I'll go ahead and hit copy. And in B21, I'll paste the resulting values. Now, before I do anything, I want to do a comparison to see if I have the same view types in both the mechanical file and in the architectural file. So to do that, I'm going to highlight column C. I'm going to go to conditional formatting, and I'm going to highlight duplicate values. This will allow me to take a look and see what the settings look like between the mechanical and the architectural file. So for example, I have 3D views that are named the same. I have a 3D view, view family, and then I have the Workset Audits ID Explorer. So what I'll go ahead and do here is grab this information and remove it, since it's a duplicate. And you can see it that no longer highlights up here. I have a zero documentation ceiling plan with a view template assignment. However, when I come up over here, I do not have a view template assignment. So what I'll do here is match it. Now that this is a match, I can go ahead and remove this information as well. For the details, we could see that I have some uh, duplicates here because they're named the same, and that's because they're two different categories, which is acceptable. So rather than importing this information in to generate additional detailed views, I may as well just rename these ones, and then I can remove these two. So to match this, I'll go ahead and change the name. And I'll fill this down. Now that these are a match, what I'll go ahead and do is remove these two rows of data. I also have exterior elevations, and this one once again has a view template assigned to it. So what I'll do here is assign the same view template. We'll call this documentation exterior elevations. I'll go ahead and select this row and delete it as well. Same thing with the floor plans. I have a view template assignment here, but I do not have a view template assignment here. So I'll go ahead and do the same thing. Once that's complete, I'll delete this one as well. Everything else over here is new. So I'll go ahead and type in the word new, and that'll instruct Bimly to generate these new view types upon import. And then finally, since I have view template assignments here, I can wipe out the word true here because they will automatically become true once I import this information. Now that everything here is complete, I'll hit the Save button. I'll close this out, and I'm going to come back to BIMLink. I'll close the BIMLink from the architectural file, and I'll go back to the mechanical file. I'll launch BIMLink. I'll go to Import. I'll select the View Types Create New. I'll go ahead and review everything. And we see we have no errors and warnings. Everything in yellow is what's new or what's been changed. Since everything looks good, I'll go ahead and hit Import. And now when I select the floor plan over here, you can see that I've now generated the new view types. If I come over to an elevation, you can see I have the new view types and so forth. And that's all it takes to copy information over from one file to another. We hope you found this information helpful and beneficial to your workflows. Be sure to visit our website at id8software.com to learn more about our products, workflows, help, and upcoming classes. Be sure to also follow us on social media for the latest information and news from ID8 Software. Thank you.